Hi, dear old Espresso TV guys. Uh, welcome on board of uh, the Makup show. We are here at the Makup boot and uh, here is Renata. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hi. Nice to meet you. And uh, you're barista, I think. Yes. Otherwise, you wouldn't stand here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. and uh, we, we have this new uh, Makup grinder. Correct. Uh, can you tell us uh, something about it? Yes, sure. We have here the newborn of uh, the Makup family. We have a 17 millimeters flat burr yeah. grinder. The burrs are put vertically. Yeah. And the very interesting thing about this grinder is that coffee is brought to the burrs by a um, screw. Yeah. So it comes slowly to the burrs. And one other thing to know is that uh, coffee is slowed down after it has been ground. Yeah. In this way, we do not Yeah. And you know how many grinders you are using and you have a lot of dust all around. Yeah, a lot this of, uh, yeah. wanted to uh, avoid that very big problem in the coffee shops. And as you can see, I can now show you yes, please. just a little bit how it works. And you will see I'm putting the board of it there and no any dust will go around. And super fast, mamma mia. Super fast, we are grinding now 17 grams of coffee in 2.75 mm. seconds. Nice, yeah. nice. But I will show you something different. Yes. Because with this grinder, you can also work in another way. You can take off this part of yes. the machine very easily. Ah, super. And you can switch the grinder to another way of grinder. As you can see, there's no dust around. Yes, it's also uh, possible to use it as a single dose. For sure, it is very simple. You just need to press this button, yes. push this button, and you can switch from double dose to continuous to one single dose. Yes, okay. And to change the time of grinding, you just swear yeah. this button and you go inside the settings yeah. and you can change okay. the time. Yeah, that's easy. Very yeah, easy. Cool. Another very easy thing to do is going from the micrometric to the micrometric grind setting. Simply just with this movement and here you can change the micrometric setting. So if you want to move one day at home and you want to move from an espresso grinding size, you can go to a mocha pot grinding size very, very simply. Wow. If you want to adjust <laughs> yeah. the micrometric, you move slightly. Yeah. Okay. Way. Yeah. Did you remember the old setting we had? Yes. Ah, I do. cool. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't pay attention. Okay. And it is not a problem. Yeah. Because the burrs are very um, um, well put together, yeah. and I can go back to the previous setting, and they will not swear. Okay. Ah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm 99% sure I will have the same grinding size. Hey, that's cool. And how about retention? Uh, in my test, I personally did some tests on this grinder, and the maximum retention I found in the grinder was 0 0.5, 0.4, sorry, grams. Wow, 0 0.4 is 0 .4. the yeah, it's almost nothing. Wow. Yeah, I also uh, took everything out to clean the grinder yeah. and inside the grinder, inside the burrs and the screws and everything else, I found mm -hmm. 0 0.5 grams of okay. coffee. Okay, cool. And uh, about coffee, which kind of coffee do we use We are using now, now uh, coffee from the Trucillo family from ah. Salerno. Okay, and close to Amalfi. Yeah. Ah, hey, wow, yeah. And here we have a special guest. Hi. Ciao, Marcos. Ciao. Uh, your, your name? Antonia. Uh, Antonia Trucillo. Okay, maybe you can say Explain. something yes, about the coffee. Of yeah. course. Our blend is made of, uh, up of um, four origins of uh, Arabica coffee. So they come from, from Ethiopia, Colombia, Guatemala and Honduras. So these uh, origins together make up like um, a boom of uh, flowers, yeah. honey, caramel, 
and spicy notes like also cinnamon and uh, in the espresso we have a um, nice cup with a nice crema, uh, hazelnut crema, good texture and uh, full-bodied coffee and a very very pleasant aftertaste. Wow, and now... Espresso perfetto. Okay, now I want to taste the espresso course, perfetto. Of course, of course. Sure. Va bene. Renata, yes. Hey, wow, Renata, forza. <laughs> it's great. cool, huh? <laughs> In between two women, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> in Italy, yeah. two women. You have to come to Malta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure. It's a super place. Super place. We were born in Salerno in yeah. 1950, so we are near all the Pietri, Cetara. Yeah, yeah. Very good place. Yeah, I spent my. Um, <laughs> because she knows. Oh, yeah, I stayed in. Um, oh, yeah, now, now we focus yes, on the. Yes, on the espresso. Leveling is important? Yes, it is. Why? Because in this way, all the cro coffee uh, ground is wet in the same time at the same way. Okay. That's why I'm using leveler. And now no cups because of these uh, regulations? Yes, because of the COVID regulations. Okay. This is less infectious. Huh? Maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows. Huh? But uh, cool. And uh, when when you stop at uh, which time or which volume? How you I, define? I usually work with a double volume as the ground coffee. Yeah. So uh, with this coffee, I am using 17 uh, grams of coffee, and yeah. I said the before and yeah. I know it's 34 wow. grams of beverage in the two cups. Wow. Okay. So when Cheers. You, when you oh. smell. Yeah, it's really uh, Arabica, yeah. Yes. Wow, cool. Yes, because it's flowery, yeah. fruity. Mm. Ah, nice, nice. Mm. Thank you, Alice. This one is nice. of Middle America and uh, yeah, refined in uh, Costiera Amalfitana. Hey, wow, cool. <laughs> Ciao.